We finished the conversation in Sonrisas Cafe. We got a beautiful t-shirt that we'll be wearing as well. And something that I realized as well on my trip, I need to shave by the way, is like I will start wearing more uh, meaningful clothes that go a meaning and a purpose behind. I go a powerful talk uh, with Antonio for about two hours or something. Brilliant guy that he has accomplished a lot for society, for the world, and giving me an understanding of how can I make powerful uh, also the, the mindset mission um, and understanding as well that, that psychology to to help more people uh, so now we're heading up to our next destination here in Nicaragua but uh, it's been a pleasure to talk with him but also uh, to understand everything that involves um, this journey of innovation and, and service so so far that's what we're gonna do I haven't sleep anything yet but I will I will be sleeping on the bus for sure uh, it's really hot here and just let's go we're gonna go head up to, to Rivas and um, hopefully it's gonna be good internet as well but yes let's go this is the bus that is you just need to pay 20 colones only that's it don't pay more and then you got here uh, the ferry timetable so the one that we're gonna take it is a uh, 3.30, I believe, but we're gonna ask now. And this is the entry. Here is the entry to get the ferry ticket. It's just 50 Cordobas, 20 to San Jorge, and then 50 from uh, Granada to uh, Rivas. Okay, don't pay more than that. You will kind of like tell you like 150, but just pay what is necessary. See? Um, I think you got like four to five uh, ferries uh, a day so far so yeah let's go Oops. so now to go to the city center is about 30 uh, colones yeah colones cordobas coño cordobas uh, with the with the red uh, tuk tuk let's see it's mainly the main city and then you can rent a bike and a scooter for 20 dollars uh, the quad bike i think is gonna be a bit more expensive than that and then literally to know the island you just need to go all the way uh, and it's about 270 kilometers all uh, all around so this is what you can find not bad to be honest i will get some water as well shortly but this is so far the beautiful island um yeah one of the wonders they say so this is moyo balpa moyo, moyo galpa so this is kind of like the city center of uh, the island then we're going as well tomorrow we're gonna grab a motorbike hopefully then we can explore almost the full island but my video camera is shit there you go so i think that's a bit better um, it's a cathedral here in the morning that is look much better now. You go to some ice cream shops. I've been getting food for about 400 colones, but literally 400 colones for two, two meals. For two meals, high, very high in protein. Very, very high in protein. Here is a park. Um, you will see as well where I'm staying. Super cheap, less than, $25 for three nights. Can you imagine the private rooms, eh? That's what we're gonna aim to do tomorrow in some way. But yeah, you go quite like a few places where you can rent, but it's about $20 the full day. And you can do that in about six hours. So that's the plan. But yeah, I would love to learn how to do the, the motorbike, you know? But we'll see. MT costs about four to five dollars to exchange if you want dollars. Like for example, for the motorbike that I did, and then about two dollars to exchange any money you have, any currency to to colones. But yeah, then you go to supermarkets all the way straight here, like maybe five six blocks to the to the right. You go transport, but literally from from San Jorge, which is here. Um, the main port you walk and then literally this is the city center so in two minutes you are going to be there and then you go a lot of hostels 
you go renting places as well that you're gonna ask as well here but it's really it's, re it's amazing because you can find everything and also you go a gym that is supposed to go guys this is ali's uh, hotel room it's not the best but it's like really r rusti rustico in spanish you have a tv you got this one that you can use as a little office you got chair you got the th this is enough literally to survive the hot weather here it's not the best as i told you um but it's eight dollars eight dollars and now i'm gonna move down uh, to a five dollar one instead of eighty dollars in a holy week period and the bed is massive it's perfect it's not working that one though and uh, it's perfect bro it's perfect we are this is Alta Garcia is one of the little towns in the island. Quite colorful. Color volcanoes too. Oh my tepe. It's the island. And now I realize why they got the, the triangle on their uh, coins and it's because of the volcanoes. That's the thing. Really beautiful place. Lovely place, look at it. Amazing, huh? And it's about maybe 25 minutes by bike. San Ramón. Media San Ramón. Bike, güey. ¿Y Santo Domingo? Santo. Entonces, me vamos acá. Con los Joyagua, aquí. Este. Santo Domingo, acá. Bacán. Entonces, voy de ojo a Santo y después a Mérida y después allá que hay. Eh, Balwe. Balwe. Tú. Perú. Perú. Playa. Playa. Mango. Muy famoso, ¿no? Playa Mango. Ahí, ahí, ahí ahora va a haber un conjunto ahí. ¿Qué? ¿O usted qué le dicen conjunto? A una banda. A, 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 a un este. Claro, como la misión costeña. Allá, este, allí este va a estar este, los de Costa Rica. ¿En serio? So here we are. This is our first stop. Literally, it's amazing, man. It is beautiful. We're gonna take, I don't know how. The motorbike is amazing. It's automatic. I wanted to do the other one, but anyway. Look at how beautiful is that one. Uh, literally, it's really close. It's amazing. So we're gonna maybe do another one. Beach, but it's really good. This is one of the, the beaches that is gonna be nearby and then you will have more but you need to take first the the way of San Ramon that would be the best way to you to to enjoy the most beautiful parts and then you go kind of like a village which is called Valgre but this is the first thing that you need to do and oh, here's a dog taking a shit <laughs> and yes <laughs> this is Playa Peru So now we're going to the waterfalls and uh, it is 150 Cordobas, uh, 100 for you per person and then 50 for the motorbike thing that you guys need to walk. It's about two kilometers to get there. Well, in summertime, usually it's not that big, but you can take a swim and stuff like that. But yeah, you need to do walking half of the way and then if you go the motorbike, of course, won't be that hard to walk. I need to do it because they close 2.30 if you go on motorbike and at 2 o'clock for uh, people who doesn't have any transport. So that's mainly one of the attractions here in San Ramon. And we're gonna go all the way there uh, to San Ramon to see the volcanoes as well. So it's quite cool. It's about to do a massive fail because you need to you have two parkings. It's not a restaurant parking that you need to be. You need to go to the other one that is about half an hour with the with the motorbike, and then you need to walk for about 40 minutes. So yes, <laughs> so we we'll grab the bike and we're gonna go there, and then we need to walk properly. But at the moment to grab the bike back and go for it. But so now we are starting our walk towards. <laughs> I almost fall fucking uh, uh, towards the fucking uh, the waterfall. That's the thing. Come on. Fuck. Look at my hair, bro. And I put gel. 
soft, but yes, look at this beautiful thing. We are traveling and we are doing our steps. I was planning to run, but this is, this is crazy. And it's hot, bro. Way, almost getting there. God, my hair, it's crazy. But yeah, almost there. Very tricky way to get here. So get ready for some uh, trickiness. Make sure you got good shoes to, to hike this bro. Finish the walking is literally crazy man. It's crazy. You just need to <laughs> make sure and be ready for about eight, ten kilometers. It's not three kilometers and it's gonna take about forty one hour and get ready for it to get dirty and to just be patient. But it's worth it. It's nice. So now we're gonna be keep exploring other uh, places here in the island and probably we're gonna go to Balgar as well. So let's go. So I fell, <laughs> I fell off of the of the bike. It was not my intention. Uh, I just got this and then I got my leg as well. Uh, just to save a chicken. And I got, I fall off nicely, but I scratched the, the bike and this is rented. So I don't know how much it's gonna be, but I'm really happy that I saved the chicken at least. It was a little chicken, but he was he was, he crossed already, and then for some reason he come back, and then he, and I said, "Fuck, I don't want to kill uh, a chicken." But yeah, we'll see how much it's gonna be that. But I need to be back anyway because it's five o'clock, so I need to be back. Yes, we are finishing our trip of this <laughs> city um, here in Omatepe. Um, we are now going to take the ferry. I need to pay for what I broke yesterday from the scooter. But apart from that, a beautiful place here. Really recommend it. Maybe two days max. One day, 100% to, to do the scooter, but don't fall like me. Don't try to save any chicken. And yes, then uh, I will go to Leon, potentially Managua. I got feeling in between going or not. The only thing is like, I wanna go because it's the city. That's the only thing, but we'll see. I would highly recommend it to book through the website. Uh, we're gonna stay here for the weekend and then we're gonna move straight away to, to Honduras. So let's see. Okay. Fail because this is closed, it's gonna be open on Monday. So we're gonna try another gym as well. Fail, everything is closed until Monday. So what we're gonna do mainly is just do the grocery shopping, making sure nutrition is on point. I just did one workout this week, I feel horrible. Um, but yeah, let's move on. So you see what we got guys? We can sleep in like three hours, I think. Root to the plant of root. X in my protein. The protein bars, quite like a low carb, a fast carb to um, fruits is my carbs, I don't know. I mean, today and tomorrow so after a long walk we've been walking through the main no main streets it was more like the the servers servers i would say so yeah but working to the neighborhoods it's looking scary but it's fine guys but this is one of the mains and then we're gonna walk all the way towards as well another amazing beautiful thing about nicaragua the palacio nacional i think it's open we're gonna see if it's open but it looks really good and then this is kind of like the sea walk La Casa de los Pueblos. Wow, this is really nice. So that's Rubén Darío, an iconic well person here. And then we're gonna walk towards the other amazing things. But yeah, it's beautiful. And I would recommend it to come here like about seven in the morning, eight, because it's not hot, too many people. And it's just a boiling weather, bro. But it's about 33 degrees now for that reason. Ruben Darío's house. What I've been thinking about is like, I start in Peru, of course. Then I went to Colombia, Colombia, Brazil, Brazil, Ecuador, Ecuador, Peru, Peru to Panama. And then all the way, we're gonna do all the way to Mexico. 
I'm from Yucatan, we're gonna cross to the Caribbean, I'm from the Caribbean. We go all the way back to United Kingdom, to there, to go there, go to Asia, Egypt, Australia, and then back to Colombia, I'm from Colombia, to United Kingdom. That's the plan of this year. But look at what we got here. Interesting, powerful people, wise people. This is just the replica. The original house will be in Leon, but I won't be able to, to do Leon this time because I bought my ticket for tomorrow to go to go to I, uh, Honduras. So we're going to Honduras tomorrow. Five in the morning is the start of our trip, and we arrive in three p.m. But yes, I wish I can I could go to Leon, but. I've been here quite a while so, and I need to keep moving. That's the thing, but beautiful place. And if it's a replica anyway, it's kind of the same. Well, not the original one, but the feeling would be the same, you know, in some way. At least that's my <laughs> my excuse. But beautiful house. Beautiful house. This is the main Plaza Nicaragua. And here you go as well as Simon Bolivar. You got the Venezuelan, Venezuelan uh, flag, Nicaraguan flag, and then I think it's the army one. Uh, I'm not sure about the third one, but a yeah, beautiful uh, scenario to be honest. And that is the replica of the house uh, of the important people here. Managua. This is the beautiful thing as well for people that they never take a plane but they can have the experience and they can just empower themselves to to travel, you know, so that's quite cool. I'm looking for the entry though. We're gonna find out in a bit. But this is the mini Managua. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like a, a giant. <laughs> But this is a, a miniature, guys. This is the miniature that, that you will find here. Really interesting and really, really good work that they've been doing so far. Uh, very beautiful. Even though you will find this, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, just ask and they will tell you, yes, jump on, jump on there. And you, you will be fine. So yeah, really, really nice work. Now we're gonna keep walking that way and then we're gonna head up home. I mean, like it will take you two hours max but it will take you two hours because if you want to do the walk, but if you don't want to do the walk, uh, this can be done in an hour time, but it's coffee shops, it's restaurants here as well, in this area, not on your way walking, just in this area. So in the other one, you just need to walk straight uh, and make sure that you're just walking confidence towards the, the, the street because it might be quite intimidating, but it's not. Especially if it's 7 in the morning, you should be fine because it might be dangerous at night because you need to have a look where you, where the fuck you are. But apart from that, I think morning time is good. You will be fine. So now we're going to head up there. It's all restaurants, guys. It's a Sunday, Holy Week, and it's 50, 40% open. But this is the mini Managua as well. In the old times, we're going to go there in a bit. And I think it's one more thing over there, and then it's done regards to what you can do around this area. Functioning mainly all the sightseeing here in Manawas, and now we're gonna take a taxi because there's no way I wanna walk. And now we're back, no for sure. I mean, like it is. It's, go, it's gonna cost you 60 colones, 60 Cordobas, 60 Cordobas if you are here. I um, mean, the place I am, which is the Costa Rica Backpackers. What the fuck? I'm, I'm, I think I, I received too much time today. 
but not uh, in the same hostel as me, which is um, which is Managua, Managua uh, backpackers. Okay, uh, sixty. So you can just come here straight away with sixty. No, don't pay more than that if you can. Even though they will see you as tourists, that's what you're supposed to pay. Or download right, right. Um, I will put the name here as well. It's a really good app. Haven't tried yet though, but this is a really good one. Now we're gonna come back home. We're gonna do some work and then get ready for for some salsa later. It's also the last stop of Manawas today. Well, then we're gonna go dancing anyway. But this is a Parque Japón. It's like ja Japan Park. Uh, they call it kind of like the friendly park. It's really nice, to be honest. Sorry, and we're gonna explore the, the place. So it's quite nice, huh? Then you got like a fountain of water as well. You can drink, and it's quite close to my accommodation. We're going dancing, guys, in this amazing place. It's the only place that I found on Sunday that they will do a party. So we'll see what, what it goes. Salsa, bachata, merengue. Uh, this is starting off. It's not people, but it will be. So yeah. So it's our meal. We go um, yerba luisa. It's kind of like a herb plus limon, which is really good. It's kind of like $7, I think, or something. But it's really good Mexican food to, to wait for the dancing.